Hello guys, Skeet here, and welcome back to Tacoma. Let's go into medical and see what we can find. Okay, so this was captured two, two days ago. Um, Alright, so, play. Cared for them. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. Alright, good speed. Okay, so there's two people that opened up their things here. Let's see what this one is first. Uh, this is Natalie, right? Message with Odin. Isn't having more data available to the pilot desirable? Yeah, but the raw nav data is formatted for Zenith's AI's use, not blankety blank. Uh, Bert's going to need to be able to use this stuff in real time while she's at the controls, so... Blankety blank navigation code itself interprets interpret the data and displays its recommendation for optimal manual inputs to the pilot. Blank, expose the raw data for cross-reference if needed. Yes, I understand. I will prepare revision 2.212 of the manual drone navigation control software and blank, blank, blank. Emergency infect. Cryogenic facilities active. Two out of six cryopods occupied. Oh, oxygen supply. Approximately 50 hours. So already two of them, who was already in there? Uh, message with Evie. No, it's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But I just wanted to say that I think you're a really good station admin. And no matter how I acted, I want you to know blank and blank not going to let you down. That's very sweet, Nat. I appreciate it. I need to blank blank see you on the other side. This user is offline. Failed. Failed. Okay. So that's one. Let's quickly look at hers. Right. Okay. To all crew, to Tacoma's remaining oxygen? Something? To everyone left awake on Tacoma Station. This is from uh, Andrew. I've added a tracking widget to all crew desktops. It displays a pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains in the station. Following the algae bloom and Evie and Clive going into the cryo, that counter should give you a pretty good blanket blank. Keep an eye on it and something, something, something. Message with Natalie. Hey ladies, your scans look good. You're cleared for cryo. If, God forbid, blank blank into the pods, attaching the same standard instructions as sits along to Evie and Clive. A patient's guide. Okay, so what does this say? In the case of a medical emergency, when surgical or other required medical facilities, something temporarily try to get in suspension until you can be transported for treatment. Here's a quick look at blank. Preparation. Medical staff will scan you and determine an appropriate regimen of fluids to be administered by uh, intravenous something something uh, dosage of diuretics and laxatives if, and given time of your body to react to them before medical staff will guide you as you enter the cryogenic device if a, the cryogenic facilities at your location are in microgravity medical staff will have special training in uh, uh, whoa what did that amdenu whoa okay all right I don't know what that word is unless it's just gibberish Failed, failed. Okay, we are done with those. We still have one more, but let's do it. Once more into the breach? What? I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. So those are the two that are already in deep freeze. You read the message they sent? Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but... But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second, they looked so worried. Oh, baby. The clock is ticking, and I just keep thinking, what if the last time they saw each other the last time they'll ever see each other. Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? So, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was, like, general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are gonna help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned off. Because thinking about them isn't gonna help us. But 
you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too. Matt? Then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. Whoa! Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, they, uh, that's why they went into the supply closet. Uh, security medical storage only, uh, locked. Ooh. Oh, I need a key. Oh, I need to find the key. Okay. Um, I will look for the key. You guys have fun. I'm gonna go this way. Actually, I should probably rewind and, and, uh, see- Fully automated private- And that in- It's whole- Result. Thought back. So what is this saying? Oh, her personal quarters. Adventurous, we look boldly into the future, not backward into the past. While we are proud of our heritage luxury facilities like the Zenith Lunar Resort, the popular perception of orbital travel as playground of the super wealthy is outmoded, outdated. It's holding us back. The future of Venturus is inclusivity, and that inclusivity is defined by the Venturus Belt Project. A network of 1,000 fully automated private vacation homes encircling Earth, available to the public at prices a mere fraction of any orbital travel on offer today. The Venturus Belt will be a revelation of industry and rocket our enterprise to amazing new heights. This has been a message. Okay. Um, let's follow. Oh. Hey, look who comes in. All right, let's see what Andrew was looking at. Dear Mark and Nicholas, I don't know how to say this, but blank blank accident on the station. If you're reading this, we weren't able to survive it. And I'm sorry, Nicholas, I'm sorry I won't be there to see you grow up and be the amazing man I already see you becoming. Mark, I'm sorry I won't be there to hold your hand as we grow old together. But blank blank, don't forget me. I know that I loved you more than I am. Sorry, Odin, I can't do this right now. I'll finish this later. Stop dictation. Okay, so he was already sending a message off to his son. I think, and I think, uh, Mark, I think Nicholas is his son, and I think Mark was his, uh, his husband or his lover or something. Um, but he was already sending the messages saying, oh, we didn't survive. The drone was never meant to support human life. There's no air plug. Uh,. This, there's no air supply system, no onboard controls at all. There's not enough radiation shielding for human passengers. And I'm just going to have to figure out where to scavenge all that stuff from Tacoma in a way that won't break the station. And hope that I can retrofit the drone to support human life long enough for me to manually pilot the six bus from Tacoma to the moon. So I really need to get back to it. Sorry. Thanks for buying us you know, a few more hours of oxygen with that algae thing, Andrew. Dear crew, I would rather not be writing this. Clive and I... Not why I wish I weren't signing these words. It's because, above all, I believe in this crew and I wish I could be there to see you succeed in this. We have the right people to make our plan a reality. We will breathe fresh air again. We will see our families again. We will feel the Earth's pool again together. For now, Clive and I will do our part and settle into cryo. Soon Andrew will join us. Sarah, Bert, and Nat, we're all counting on you. Blake and Blake couldn't be in better hands with love and gratitude to E.B. St. James and Clive. Oh, man. That's quite a wait to put on soldiers. So message with Andrew, here's the information you requested, I imagine. Answers to your frequently asked questions, let's see. While Venturus strives to make ensure the safety of each of its contractors, occasionally accidents do happen. In that case, uh, in the case that a contractor dies, transport the remains in the funeral arrangements are paid by Venturus. Loyalty in any additional Venturus accident insurance let the contractor is invested or immediately transferred to blah 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 blah. That's Hello, what he was Sarah looking. ready for me? I will tell her that you are here. So you showed up? Okay, now before he comes in, I'm gonna listen to the rest of what Sarah has to say. Oh, Odin. Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo? I believe that you have made a decision 
with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh. Send him in. So you showed up for your exam. So... Sarah lied about Natalie not having a chance in cryo? Maybe? I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support and, and then we're... No. I mean... What if things don't work out? And we're still stuck in cryo? Oh. Well, when you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, things start shutting down, don't wake back up. It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. Do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion and do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. Oh, and that's whenever they, uh, that's right next door whenever they decided to start doing it. All right. What is this? Oh. She likes the uh, relaxation sounds. What else we got? Ocean beach. That's kind of nice. Summer showers. Let's do the uh, ocean beach. Okay. All right. Here's Sarah. Does she have a? She doesn't have a. QR code on hers. Weird. Uh, Bioscan report pin updated. Thank you for updating your crew AR Bioscan. It's just uh, graduation. Okay. And what's this final thing here? We would like to remind you that while your while your posting contract on Lunar Transfer Station Control is currently up for renewal, there may be many more posting options open to you if you were to accept personal responsibility for the incidents of September 2nd, 2085 upon the foundation of paradise. As you know, the court case has been settled, so there would be no further negative impact on you, and your opportunities with adventurers would be significantly improved. I'll take the renewal things. What the hell is this about? Hold on. If you were to accept personal responsibility for the incident of September 2nd, what incident are they talking about? I hate this because, like, I love games like this because they're so interesting. But at the same time, I hate him because now I'm like, did I miss something or have I not learned about it yet? Oh, here's that same picture that she looked at in her thing before. Doctor of Medicine 2080. Okay. Well, I want to see if I can... Okay, does she have a key somewhere? Um, maybe up here? I'm, I'm, I'm going to look for that key to open that thing. Uh, doctor is out, right? Okay. Uh, imaging. What does this go to? Oh, right. This is okay. Hand washing station. Whoa, that freaked me out. Okay, that. Oh, hold on. Recent body scan records for medical staff only. Password, passcode required. Did I see a passcode somewhere? Okay, I gotta find this passcode and stuff. What is this? Bioscan procedure, non crew member profile detected. Oh, right, right, right. Lie down. Okay. Right, this is talking. This is where they did the Biostan stuff. Oh, is that. That's. The house cat. Did you do anything? When you go into stable. 
You didn't do anything. You just laid there the entire time, didn't you? What? And you have a mousy. Uh. Nope, you just slept there the whole time. Put your keys and stuff away. Did they did they put their keys and stuff away? What is this? It's a battery, I guess. Oh, it's lip balm. Okay. Oh, what is this? A pin? Okay. And what is this? A coin. Okay. Right. Was there any keys? Come on. I, I have to find that key. I have to find the key and I have to find the passcode. Is there anything over here? Uh, yes, stethoscope, no. Is there anything inside the trash bin? No. You gotta check underneath things. You never know if something might be hidden underneath. So this is the medical office where they went. But, okay. Check all the pictures. What have you got here? It's a mug, right? Plate with some tea bags on it. Go away. That's another lip balm thing. And a pin. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. Oh, hold on. Is there anything inside your coat? Nope. Alright, let's go to your personal quarters real quick. Let's go see if there's anything in here that tells me of anything. So this was captured three months ago. Let's see what we got. Oh, here we go. Pause. What do we got here? We got... Uh, celebrated my last night on Terra Firma for a while. Love you, Charlene. Tignapur. Uh, home of the ultimate hangover food. On my way up, never thought I'd see Earth from this height. And in defeat. Oh, these are just... Okay. What else we got? Message with Odin. Unfortunately, the information you have requested is denied as classified by Ventura, so I'm unable to transmit it to you. I wish I could. I'm sorry, sir. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. I know you have your rules and you have to follow. I wonder if Nat could get at it. I cannot prevent you from approaching Natalie about this issue. I can advise you that in doing so would violate the terms of her security clearance. I wonder what she was looking up. No, on another facility. Uh, like if she was m malfunctioning or if there had been anything wrong with her that people might not have known about. I could try looking at VT's tech error ticket backlog for any hits. Okay, Foundation of Paradise Medical AI about three years ago. Is this... Does this have anything to do with the incident? Thank you again to all my eggheads who have flagged me in their loyalty affiliate programs this month. Flagged me today to join up and receive premium content like this day one every week. Egg a day odyssey. Okay. Alright. Dear Sarah, we are thinking of you during this Ramadan and hope you are celebrating in your own way up there as well. Please give yourself permission to relax every once in a while doing your posting. We love you, Mom and Dad.
Okay, so she was into yoga. Oh, now come on, there's gotta be a key or a, a, a code. That was kind of a relaxing song. So she didn't do it. That, like, there wasn't anything about her in the this room. It was just her relaxing. That was it. Hi, Sarah. So glad somebody wanted one of these beautiful orchids. Remember, not too much water, and just ask if you need any guidance on upkeep, plant care tips. I'm here to help. Right. Okay. So she got one of. Them. She's. She got the orchid. Looks like it's still in good health too. Um. She really liked her tea. I don't blame her. I do too. Ah, okay. All right then, and this is her bathroom. Uh Okay. Well, from what I can see, it looks like... There's no key or code numbers in here. Ah, this sucks, because now I'm going to want to search around for that damn thing. I may do that off screen, and I'll uh, come back if I find it, but I mean, right now I'm just going to see if I can, I'm going to go look around a little bit more, see if there's anything I can find. Medical storage. Alright, so we went into, I've already been in here. Was there a key in here? Because this is where the key goes. Yes. This is where the key goes. And there's some stuff in there. I want to see what's in there. Um, latex glove, right. What is this? That's a bolt. Where does this bolt go? And a hat. Lunar transfer station Tacoma. So that's the only bad thing about games like this is there's like all kinds of stuff to explore, like everywhere. It can't possibly be behind one of these, can it? Okay, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Thank goodness. I hope they did, wouldn't make it that difficult to find something like that. Alright. Um... It looks like that's it, like I'm done, but um, I'm actually not done because I want to check for the, yeah, I want to check for the key and stuff. So I think I'm going to bring this episode to a close. I'm going to look around like off screen for the key and the uh, code, the uh, this, this code, this passcode. Yeah, and, uh, and yeah, 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 yeah. And if I find it, I'll let you know. If I don't, um, well, I guess I will just continue onward. So thank you guys for watching. This is Skid. I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, this is a little uh, add-on thing. I'll probably add it on before I end the, uh, the episode. But I did uh, come back into the office to look for the key and stuff. 
And guess what? There's a drawer here that I opened, and look what I found. A key. So, now I have a key, but I'm gonna put the key right there for a second. I'm gonna read this. What is this? February 20th. Honestly, the most... Honestly, most of the pain is faded, but I can't say that I still don't feel guilty. It's just duller than it used to be, but it's still there all this, all the time. Odin says this counts as grief. Even though I never knew the patient when he was alive, I don't know how doctors deal with this. A lot of them have to, don't they? Most of them? Okay. Uh, I wonder exactly what happened with this incident or whatever. So, I guess... I don't know. And I still haven't found the code. Uh, anyway, I found the key, now at least, supply locker, which is nice, but I still haven't found the code. I was looking around, like, her office and stuff and, uh, looking for a number. Uh, the only thing I could find was, like, this, uh, 2080 here. The John Hopkins University School of Medicine doctor whatever. But, uh, other than that, like, I can't, there's, there's nothing that even remotely gives a clue as to where, or what the number is, or whatever. I guess I could try the 2080, I doubt it, but I'll give it a try. Oh, shit! That actually worked! Holy shit, I was not expecting that! Alright, cool! Uh, okay, I'm gonna look at Nat's last. So what is, we got, uh, Roberta Williams, 28, Blood pressure 140 over 90. A standard uh, immuno antiviral schedule AC addictive substance. Blah, 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 blah. Vision and hearing schedule. Cryogenic stasis risk factors none. No physical symptoms that might lead to injury or death following the cryogenic stasis or revival. Physicians should proceed with cryogenic procedures as normal. What about Andrew? None. But what about Nat? See, this is the this is one I was saving because I remember she said something about Natalie. Ooh. Heart murmur, probable mitral stenosis. Patient exhibits clear signs of cardiovascular abnormality. Heart murmur. This condition represents severe risk of death during cryogenic revival process. Expected probability of survival for the patient under this treatment is 18%. Not recommended for progenate stasis. Physicians should consider alternate methods of treatment for this patient. Oh, shit. So did Natalie survive, I wonder? Or did any of them survive? Did they make it back? And Oh my god, this is... Okay, so that's what she was talking about. Anyway, let's go use this key and then we'll bring this episode to a close. Uh, oh wait, this is wrong. The the key goes, sorry, my bad. The key goes in here. Alright, I found everything I wanted to. Medicine bottle. This is... I don't know what this is. Papers. Ventura settles with family of spaceport victim. Okay, so this must be the event that happened. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this is the event September 2nd. Following a lengthy independent investigation and court case, the Ventura's Corporation has reached a settlement with a family of Jaden Jeremiah Pratt, who died during surgery for a fractured femur following an accident aboard the Ventura's Foundation of Paradise Spaceport on September. How did he die during surgery of just a fractured femur? Hold on. The value of the settlement is undisclosed. As part of the settlement's terms, Ventress admitted no wrongdoing in the death of Mr. Pratt. However, significant public relations damage was already done by the incident. While uh, OCEP's independent investigation was inconclusive, the attending surgeon at the time of Mr. Pratt's death, Dr. Sarah uh, Hasmati, had testified during multiple hearings that fault lay not in human error, but in the faulty judgment of Ventress's medical AI, Hika. Following these claims and the lack of refutation by OSIP's investigation, investor confidence in the reliability of the Ventura's AI offerings declined sharply and hasn't fully recovered since Dr. Hasmati was transferred off the foundation of the Paradise Spaceport shortly after the hearings began. Mr. Pratt was a popular travel and food writer, bringing his death and the subsequent hearing surrounding it 
added attention from the public. Both the Ventures Corporation and Mr. Pratt's family declined to comment for the story. So that's what happened. She feels guilty for the death of uh, Mr. Pratt. Why is there a stone? Okay, I found a skull, and the only thing I can think of is to bring it, is to bring it to the, the, the skeleton over here. Is something creepy gonna happen? Did that do anything? Oh god, don't scare me. Please don't scare me. It's actually really creepy looking. Ugh. That's... I wonder why they put the skull in there. In that, uh, supply room. Anyway, I'm gonna bring this episode to a close now, because I, I found the key, I found everything I needed. Um, so, that will be that. Data process complete. Yay! Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts on this game are so far. Uh, this is Skid, and I will see you guys next time on Tacoma. Let me let me just read this real quick. Subcontractor Farrier process, proceed immediately to the engineering module. Once the AI data is transferred to all modules, you also, must also appear and return the AI's physical and processing medium. The latter requirement is of the highest priority. So we're heading to engineering next. Thank you guys for watching. This is Kid. I will see you guys next time.